beautiful people welcome to susan and family cooking tv from susan and family tv so how are you all doing hope you are doing great as for me and my daughter we are doing super 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 great by his grace amen of our power amen and we wish the same for you out there amen so beautiful people welcome to another educative entertaining inspiring interesting video with my daughter and me from susan and family cooking tv so as you can see you have already seen the topic of today and you know that who la la valentine is around the corner for we for our children for our family for our loved ones for our friends uh -huh. so today people we are going to be talking about valentine's day story and uh how -huh. to we to our kids, we and our children, every year we celebrate Valentine. My daughter always wish me happy Valentine's Day for me, and I always wish my daughter happy Valentine's Day every February 14th. And this year, we'll go ahead and long life for my daughter and me. We will also celebrate Valentine together, February, for, February 14th of this month, February, next February to come. Every Valentine to come, we go there to long life for my daughter and me. Amen. And the beautiful thing is that beautiful people, we and our kids, family friends out there it's like we don't like even know the reason why we and our kids family and friends we are celebrating valentine it's like we don't even like even know the purpose why we are celebrating valentine but we just came up to like meet it that everybody say february 14th is valentine's day and our kids also my daughter she's growing with it that when it's february 14th she needs to like Make a beautiful drawing for me. Aha, uh -huh. I need to like buy my daughter some chocolate or some sweet, you know, because it's Valentine's Day. My daughter wishing me happy Valentine's Day, mom. And I also wish my daughter happy Valentine's Day to my amazing daughter. Good at a long life for my daughter and me. Amen. And to also to our subscribers, viewers, um, fans out there, you also do that with your kids, your family, loved ones, you know, and friends. And the beautiful thing is that we you know our kids families and friends we don't even know where valentine date is like originated from we don't even know the purpose why we are celebrating valentine every 14th of february so beautiful if you want to know the reason why we and our kids family loved ones families friends we all celebrate valentine's day february 14th every year try watch the full video to the end so that you can know the reason why we in our case we celebrate valentine every 14th of february every year and the purpose why we in our case celebrate valentine every 14th of february this year which valentine already this month february 14th is already on the corner for we and our kids to also celebrate valentine february 14th this year with good health and long life for we and our kids amen so beautiful the title says you already seen the title the title says valentine's story the real story of valentine's day so today we are going to be talking about valentine's story so i hope you are going to find this video inspiring if you do please don't forget to press the notification bell and please do subscribe and please do share this amazing video we are going to talk about now about valentine's story the real story of valentine's day so beautiful people without wasting time let's go ahead on our valentine's stories day so first says first let's talk about what is what is valentine uh -huh. So beautiful people, what do you think is Valentine? What do you think is Valentine's Day that we and our kids, we, all, we always celebrate every 14th of February, which is around the corner already this month for us and our kids. So what do you think is Valentine? Say first, says, first, first let's talk about what is Valentine. So I'm going to try to uh, read uh, what I wrote slowly i'm not going to be very fast about it so that you can be able to pick something if we are reading hundred ways i would love you to pick about 80 over 100 so that 80 over 100 is already above 50 uh -huh, which i i really want to like understand 
Valentine's story. And I really want you to understand the purpose, the reason why we and our kids, we are celebrating Valentine's Day every 14th of February, which is around the corner for we and our kids. Amen. So number one says, the title again says, inspiring educating video, Valentine's story, the real story of Valentine's Day. And first I wrote, first let's talk about what is Valentine. I says, because we parents and our children knows Valentine's Day, which is always on 14th February every year. And we don't know the real story of Valentine. That is truth. We and our kids, every 14th of this month, 14th of February, our kids and we always say, Happy Valentine to you, my daughter. My daughter says, Happy Valentine, mom. And we don't even like know the reason why we and our kids are celebrating Valentine. So Tooth says, the real story of valentine's day that is what we are going to talk about because valentine's day we and our kids we are celebrating has a story behind why we and our kids we are celebrating valentine's day every february 14th which is around the corner for us and our kids already this month and it says to says the real story of valentine's day which is also called Saint Valentine. Aha. Uh -huh. So beautiful people, Valentine's Day is also called Saint Valentine. Aha. Uh -huh. We want to like write Valentine's Day. You can just like write a little ST on top before the Valentine's Day because why? Valentine's Day is also called Saint Valentine was one was one of two guys preaching the good word in Rome. Who can imagine that? Valentine is coming from the Bible. You can imagine the Valentine, happy Valentine's Day. We and our kids, we are celebrating this month, every February 14th. It's coming from the Bible, from Rome, beautiful people, Rome in Italy. That is where the two guys who originated Valentine are coming from. So we are going to read it again. It says the real story of a Valentine's Day, which is also called Saint Valentine, was one of two guys preaching the good word in Rome in the third century. In the third century, there were two guys in Rome, in Italy, who were preaching about um, Valentine. That was the third century ago. And one of these two was Madrid. One of the two guys' name was Madrid. On February 14th, 269, giving us date for his is giving us date for his epo eponymous day. Uh -huh. So beautiful people, one of the, the two guys who uh, originated um, Valentine's Day, they, they were from Rome, and one of them, his name was um, Ma Marit Rit. Marit, 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 yeah, Marit. And Marit on February 14th, 269, giving us the date for his eponymous day. So these two guys from Rome in Italy, they are the one who originated Valentine's Day that we and our kids, we are celebrating every February 14th, which is already around the corner for me and my daughter to wish my daughter a happy Valentine's Day, my princess and my daughter also wish me happy Valentine's Day, mom, good day and long life for me and my daughter, amen, and everyone there in your kids and family, amen. So Tori says, what are the days of Valentine's Day? Beautiful people, the truth is that we and our kids, we know that Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February. And the truth is that Valentine's Day is not only on the 14th of February. So in this amazing inspiring educative video, we are going to know the other days that are attached to 14th of February that we and our kids we are celebrating as Valentine's Day. So two, three says, what are the days of Valentine's Day? What are the days of Valentine's Day? It didn't say what is the day of Valentine's Day that we and our kids are celebrating 14th of February. No, it says what are the days of Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is not only on the 14th of February. So from this video, you are going to know that Valentine's Day is not only on February 14th. So it says what are the days of Valentine's Day? It begins Valentine's Day's Day. Valentine's Day begins on February 7. Beautiful people. This is not a joke. That is truth. Valentine's Day, we and our kids are celebrating every um every fourteenth of uh, fourteenth of 
April, 14th of February, which is this month around the corner, it starts on February 7. So today, by His grace, we go there to a long life for we and our kids. Today is 5th, so I'm going to try to upload the video today. We go there to a long life for my daughter and me, amen. And by next tomorrow, we go there to a long life for me and you and your kids. Valentine, we and our kids have already started celebrating and enjoying Valentine. So from this video, you are going to know that you are not going to keep the gift, the goodies that you want to give to your partner, that we want to give to our kids, our kids drawing, my daughter want to give to me, you know, uh, out you want to uh, you want to go for a date, or you want to engage a woman, or you want to surprise your aunt, your husband, you want to surprise your friend, uh, you know, your spouse, or we parents want to surprise our kids, our kids want to surprise us. So it's not only on the 14th of February, but it's starting next tomorrow, which is 7th of April, uh, 7th of February, April is always coming to my mind. So what are the days of Valentine's Day? It begins on February 7 and runs through February 14. You can see. So Fe uh, Valentine's Day for we and our kids is starting from next tomorrow on the 7th of February and it runs to 14th of February, which we and our kids, everyone already that know that. Um, Valentine's Day is 14th of um, February. Not knowing that Valentine's Day is not only one day, it's not only on the 14th, but it's days. And Valentine's Day is starting from on the 7th of February to 14th of February. So we also went ahead and wrote each day has a very, each day has a different theme to celebrate. So every of this day of Valentine's starting from 7th next tomorrow for we and our kids to 14, it has a, it has a different theme for us to celebrate, for we and our kids to celebrate, to celebrate love, the days to express your love to your spouse, our Valentine's Day, Rose Day, Propose Day, Chocolate Day, Teddy Day, Promise Day, Hug Day, and Kiss Day. Ooh la la. <laughs> you can see. Ooh la la. So out of all these days, we and our kids, we are going to choose which do we want to do. Like hug day. On Valentine's Day, I need to give my daughter a hug. My daughter give me a hug and I say, happy Valentine's Day, my amazing daughter. And my daughter also say, happy Valentine's Day, mom. She give me the drawing. If she have chocolate or sweet, she want to give to me candy, she give to me. When I also buy her candy and chocolate, I also give to my daughter. So for spouse, for uh, married couples, I'm a single mom, everybody know. For married couples or for women who are already engaged or men who are already have like uh, women in their life, you know. So you can surprise your your spouse on Valentine's Day or from on the 7th of February, not only waiting on Valentine's Day, you can begin to like surprise your spouse now from on the 7th of February, you can begin to surprise him or her um, with a, a call it a, like a, a rose day. You can give your spouse a rose a, or a purpose day that is engagement day. If maybe you are like planning to engage your woman and you don't know like how you are going to do it, it doesn't mean it must fall on the 14th. You can find a date among from 7th to 14th, a purpose day and propose to your to your woman. A chocolate day also in the Valentine among the days of Valentine from 7th to 14th. A chocolate day you can surprise you know, we, like me also, I can surprise my daughter with a chocolate before on the 14th of February. It's a chocolate day and a teddy day. When our kids love teddy bear, we can buy a teddy bear for our kids. That is a teddy day in the, in the, among the 7th to Fe February 14th for Valentine's Day. And a promise day. If maybe you have, we have something we want to promise our kids. Okay, my daughter, by his grace, mommy will do this for you this year. By his grace, we good at a long life for, all, for my daughter and me. Amen. It's a promise day. And if maybe you have a spouse, you are married, or you want something to promise, it's a promise day. So you have 17th to February of uh, Valentine's Day for you to do a promise day for Valentine. A hug day, I give my daughter a hug, my daughter give me a hug, is also in Valentine's Day between 7th to 14th of February. And a kiss day, that is for man and a woman, boys and girls, and husband and wife. So for we single mom, who, la la, hey, who are we going to give kiss? I will only just give my daughter a peck here, as I always do, give my daughter a peck here. So if you have a man, you have a woman, you have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, so you also know that 
from 7th of February to 14th of February, you also have a kiss day in the Valentine day. So we are going to move to four. So I hope you are enjoying this, uh, 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 enjoying this Valentine story. And I hope you are learning something from it. Uh -huh, because I want you to learn something up to 80% of what you are talking about. Out of 100, I want you to learn. And uh, I want you to learn up to like 80% of what we are talking about, about Valentine's story. And if you do, please make a comment that you learned something up to 80% of what we are talking about Valentine's story. So first says, why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? Who la la? That is where we talked about from the beginning. Because we and our kids, we always talk about Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's mom. We parents say to our kids, happy Valentine kids. And why do we celebrate Valentine? We don't, even me, myself, I don't even know. If not because of uh, that, I came across this, that I now know that, oh, really? This is the reason why we and our kids are celebrating Valentine. So there are some parents like out there also like me, kids like my daughter out there who don't know the reason why we are celebrating Valentine. So when they come across this amazing video, they can also learn something about Valentine's Day story. And it says, why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? And I say, I wrote, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day is originated as a Christian feast. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. I give a thumbs up, thumbs up and a clap, a clap and a clap to this. Because why? <laughs> there is no way I would have believed that Valentine's Day that we and our kids are celebrating is even from the Bible. I didn't believe it because first we wrote that from Rome and we know that Rome is a Catholic Catholic uh, uh, in the Bible is from uh, is Rome is from the Bible. We that uh, our kids like learning Catholic in the school, and we that uh, and we sometimes like me and my daughter we go to two churches. We are Christian. We go to our Pentecostal churches, and me and my daughter will go to Catholic church also. So my daughter and me we are Catholics, and we are and we are Christians also Pentecostal. Huh? So we saw in the in the beginning. That the two men who originated Valentine's Day, we and our kids are celebrating, they are from Rome. That is from Catholic, from Rome in Italy, they are Catholic. And we are also seeing now, why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? It says Valentine's Day is originated as a Christian. So Valentine's Day is coming from we the Christian, we the Catholic, and is a Christian feast day. So Valentine is not just a... Just like, oh, it's a loving, 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 kissy, kissy day. No, Valentine is like we are celebrating uh, Easter. Valentine is like we are celebrating uh, Jesus, celebrating uh, celebrating uh, the birthday of Jesus that we and, we and our kids, we celebrate. We Christians, every Catholic and Pentecostal, every 25th of December. Valentine is just like in April now, we go there to an life for we and our kids. We also be celebrating Easter, the, the resurrection of Jesus. Valentine also... Jesus, Christian, we the Christians, we have another feast, another festival that we the Christian, Catholic, Pentecostal, we also have another feast, another festival that we and our we and our kids, we are celebrating, which even I didn't even know, and I believe many parents did not know, and which is the Valentine's Day on the 14th of February. We and our kids say happy Valentine to each other. Is also a Christian feast. So I'm going to read it again. He said, why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is originated as a Christian feast. So it's a Christian festival. Valentine's Day, February 14, even starting from 7th of February to 14th of February, is named as a Christian feast. It's not just like a, a a kiss kiss and valentine i buy you chocolate no 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 it's a christian festival which we all know from today honoring one or two holy christian merits that is the man that we talked about the two men who originated valentine from rome we are celebrating christian we are celebrating valentine's day from 7th to 14th of um February, which 14th of February is which we really know, we and our kids really know as Valentine's Day. We are celebrating this Christian feast day, honoring one or two early Christians. The two Christians, early Christians are those men, which one name is Maris, that we called in the Rome that originated Valentine's. So we can see now that 
Valentine's Day we are celebrating. We and our kids, it's not only 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 kids day, but is a Christian festival for every one of us and our kids to celebrate. Name Saint Valentine and true later tradition. So I'm going to read it again because I'm just trying to explain it. So let me read it the way I wrote it. It said, Why do we celebrate Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day origin is originated as a Christian feast day. Honoring one or two early Christian marriages, uh, mar uh, marriage, uh, marriage, marriage named Saint Valentine. So one of this Christ, one of these early Christian, these two men from Rome, who originated uh, originated Valentine. So his name is is called Saint Valentine. That is why we are celebrating Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, you can call it also Saint. Valentine. So one of the men is name is called Saint Valentine. And true later traditions has become a significant cultural, religions, and commercial celebration of romance, of romance and love in many religion in many regions in of the world. That is true. So now uh now uh um now valentine's day we are celebrating normally is a christian feast is a christian feast just like we say happy christmas we in our kids say happy christmas happy new year happy easter is a christian feast but now it's not only known like only we christians celebrating but it's now known all over the world you can see it. it says now let me read from this place again it says now all over the world we are kids all over the world all tribes all religion we are now celebrating valentine's day not only for we the christians so i'm going to read it again why do we celebrate valentine's day because i want you to have 180 over 100 valentine's day is originated as a christian feast day honoring one or two early christian martyrs named saint valentine and true later traditions has become a significant cultural religions and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world so valentine now is not only for we christians but it's for all regions of the world many regions of the world we all and our kids tribes and um, uh, religion or religions or region of the world we and our kids we are now celebrating valentine's day and is originated from two catholic uh, men uh holy men in uh, rome and one on uh, and one of the men's name is called saint and uh, saint valentine that is why we are celebrating valentine and is from and is is a, is a valentine is a christian is a christian festival but we now all over the world origin of the world we love valentine and we all and our kids are celebrating valentine the truth is that valentine's day we and our kids are celebrating is a christian festival hope you have already got up to 90 over 100 so we are going to move to five five says how do we plan a perfect Valentine's Day? Aha! Uh -huh, la la! So now we have explained already the story of Valentine, and I hope you've got up to 80 or 90 over 100. So hide into this, and I hope you are going to get 95 over 100. Aha! Uh -huh. Mommy, are you listening? Aha! Uh -huh. So my daughter, she, uh, she did her homeschool already today. So she's in her room now. She always do her homeschool. We have a big uh, reading table over there. We also have a dining table. She has a reading table in her room. But the reading table in her room is not too big. So she won't have many of her things very soon. So she always loves to read here. Yeah? So she do already her homeschool already. So that is why I said, let me do this video before we are going to make dinner in the evening. Aha! Uh -huh. Mama, you are listening! Are you enjoying the Valentine story? Uh -huh, my daughter said yes. So briefly, people. So five says, how do we plan a perfect Valentine's Day? Aha! Uh -huh. Because now we already we in our kids, and my daughter also she says she's hearing a bad Valentine's uh, uh a bad Valentine's um Valentine uh, a story that is from Christian. Even when my daughter she's doing the homeschool. So when I got it, I saw oh mama, that we didn't know that the Valentine we are celebrating. 
it's a Christian festival. So I, I am saying, when my daughter is studying, I'm saying to my daughter, it's like because she's concentrating, she's looking at computer to listen to what she's uh, doing for her home school. So I went close to my daughter and I said to her, I said, Mommy, see, the Valentine we are celebrating is a Christian festival. So now we and our kids already know uh, the story about the Valentine we are celebrating. So now we are going to talk about how do we plan a perfect valentine's day and i wrote 18 18 ways for we and our kids families loved ones friends to and um, to plan a perfect valentine's day and one says how do we plan a perfect valentine's day one says enjoy breakfast in the bed this is not a joke if you want to have a perfect valentine's day ha huh? me and my daughter I can just surprise my daughter on Valentine's Day, good at a long life for my daughter and me. I just make a very yummy breakfast and bring it on the bed for my daughter and me. It doesn't mean it must be only you and your, your husband, only you and your boyfriend. We and our kids, we single mom and our kids, we can also surprise our kids and bring a breakfast on the bed for we and our kids. So two says, look at old photos. That is true. Me and my daughter, we can bring our hairbones and start looking in our at our old photos. That is our also how to plan a perfect Valentine's Day. Three says, give each other massage. That is for husband and wife and for man and for man and woman, boyfriend and girlfriends. Give each other massage. So if you don't already have a plan for your Valentine's Day, you have a husband, you have a wife, you have a girl, you have a boy, you have a fiance. Try and know that one of the plans for Valentine's Day is to give each other a massage. So four says, rent a movie. That is true. Rent a movie. If you are going out on Valentine's Day or Valentine's night, rent a movie or uh, rent a movie and watch in the home or go to a movie house with uh, with a fancy or with friends or also with our uh, with our fa uh, with our kids. Like me and my daughter, we do go to library. My daughter take film. So on Valentine's Day in the evening, my daughter and me we can put one of our movie that she takes from the library and we watch together. That is also the movie that we took from the library. My daughter and me we can watch it together. That is also one of the plan of making a perfect Valentine's Day. So five says stage your own photo shoot. That is true. We can make photo shoot with our kids and my daughter. We can stage a photo shoot. Me and my daughter, we can do, you know, make some selfie, make a beautiful photo shoot for Valentine's Day. That is another way to make a perfect Valentine's Day. So she says, play some board games. That is true. Me and my daughter, we have a lot of games. You know that we have a channel called Daughter and Mama Game Challenge TV. So my daughter and me, we can play a lot of games. So seven says, uh, play some board games. So eight, uh, she says, Play some board games. So seven says, go on a hike. Yeah, you can go on a hike uh, with me and my daughter. We don't know. I think that is like on the mi ma mountain when you have a husband, you have your kids can do it, or you have a boyfriend, you have a man, or you know, you and your wife, your wife, your man, you can go on the hike. So uh, eight says, make our home pizza. Oh, la la, me and my daughter would love to make pizza in the home by ourselves. So on the Valentine's Day, my daughter and me we can decide to make our home pizza in the home. We go there to a long life for my daughter and me. Amen. So nine says, put together a picnic. That is true. We can like go out for a picnic even when like the weather is not like sunny because you know you know it's windy and cold this time. But if you want to like have, uh, you want to make a plan of a, of a, a Valentine's Day, you want to make it like out, you don't want to do it at home, you can also, and seven says, Put together a picnic. You can also go to picnic. You can go to the park with family or with friends. You know. So nine says put to uh, nine says put together a picnic. So ten, ten says volunteer together. Volunteer together. This ten it say it means this number says this number ten says save money and help out a local organization. That is ten. So it's like uh it's like this number ten. It's telling us that uh, we should save money. As we are saving money, we can also like help any organization. That is the prayer. I pray every day that God Almighty should bless me and my daughter more than me and my daughter. Our expectation of good health and long life for my daughter and me. Amen. So that my daughter and me, we can so help some people who are like in need. Uh -huh. That is the prayer. I pray for God to bless my daughter and me more than our expectation every day. So 10 says volunteer together. This number 10 says save money and help out a local organization so beautiful but if you are doing valentine you have like you save money you want to help try and help 
any local organization, any organization you know that I need. So level says, write love letters and read them out loud. Do la la. So when you receive a love letter or you want to write, uh, I say write love letter and read and read them out loud. So when you receive a love letter, you need to read it out on Valentine's Day. When you are also like writing a love letter, you need to read it out on Valentine's Day. So 12 says, enjoy a gallery exhibit. Uh, enjoy enjoy a gallery exhibit. That is a hard work. Enjoy a gallery exhibit, a hard work. Maybe you can go to the to the museum, you and your kids, and know if you have the, uh, the, the weather is good or you have the time. So enjoy a gallery exhibit, which I wrote among with it so you can understand. It says hard work. So 13 says purchase a deal, example, a spa experience. 13 says purchase a deal, example, a spa. You know what, huh? like spa, you want to surprise uh, your uh, uh, spouse, you want to surprise your girlfriend, you want to surprise your fiancé, you want to surprise your woman to be, you know, men do that for your woman. Huh? So surprise her on a Valentine's Day with a spa experience. So 14 says, have a dinner at home. Ah, ooh, la, this is for me and my daughter. Ooh, la, la, many are for my daughter and me. In fact, all are for my daughter and me. Only few that is for man and woman or husband and wife. So it says, enjoy enjoy uh, have a dinner at home with good health and long life my daughter and me yes my daughter and me will always have a dinner so valentine day i will try to make like a special dinner for my daughter and me in the home with good health and long life my daughter and me, my daughter and me will have a wonderful valentine dinner at home so 15 says show off your skating skills that is truth if you know how to skate for um on valentine's day 14th of February, you can show off your skating skills. So 16 says, indulge in a bubble bait for two. Ah, ah, ooh, la, la. This is for husband and wife, boy and girl, man and woman. So it says, 16 says again, indulge in a bubble bait. Only the two of you, man and woman or husband and wife. So 17 says, bake a sweet treat. That is true. Me and my daughter, we can bake cake. We can bake, uh, we can bake uh, pancakes. We can bake uh, uh, meat pie. We can bake her grow. We can bake anything, you know. So we should bake a sweet treat that I and my daughter we are going to enjoy on Valentine's Day. We good at a long way from my daughter and me. And me. So it says dance together. Ooh la la, husband and wife, men and women are the guests and boys together. You can dance together on Valentine's Day. So that is. 18 ways to plan a perfect valentine's day and hope you are still enjoying this video so how many percent have you got now we are at 31 minutes 54 seconds have you got up to 80 percent that i said so we are going to move to six six says what is most popular valentine's gift oh la la that is true we are talking about valentine valentine we also need to know what is the most popular gift to give on a Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. And it says, what is most popular Valentine's gift? For those who prefer physical gift, the most popular gifts are also one of the first things that come to mind when they think of Valentine's Day. Sweets and chocolates. Ooh, la, la. So beautiful, but if you don't know, the most popular gift for us to give to our kids on Valentine's Day is sweet and chocolate. Ah, if you can see, ha, we have my daughter, we always buy a lot of sweet and chocolate. Ha, so that is not going to be a, a difficult thing for me to give to my daughter sweet and chocolate on Valentine's Day. And so and also goes are the best and uh, sweet and chocolate are the best gift for us to give to our kids on Valentine's Day, and also a man and a woman, husband and wife. You know, fiance and all, you can also give sweets and chocolate are the best gift to give to anyone on Valentine's Day, followed by flowers and jewelries. But they says sweet and chocolate are the best gift for us to give to our kids on Valentine's Day and to anyone you want to gift. Any gift to sweet and chocolate are the best. So seven says, what is the purpose of Valentine's Day? Oh, la, la, that is true. And we, in our case, we want to know, what is the purpose of this Valentine? Valentine, Valentine, Valentine. When Valentine's coming, it's like everybody enjoys Valentine's Day over more than their birthday. It's like everybody talk about Valentine even more than their birthday. They don't even like talk about their birthdays the way they are like, oh, Valentine, happy Valentine, happy Valentine's coming, which gift am I going to buy? Uh -huh. So now, seven says, what is the purpose of Valentine? So we are going to talk about the purpose of Valentine's Day says, 
St. Valentine's Day is an annual festival, just as we said, Christian festival, to celebrate romantic love, friendship, and admiration. Every year on 14th February, people celebrate this day by sending messages by sending messages of love and affection to partners, family, and friends. So beautiful people, the purpose of we celebrating Valentine's Day is an annual festival to celebrate romantic love, to celebrate friendship and admi uh, admi uh, admiration. Every year, 14th February, we and our kids we, we and our kids, we send messages of love and affection to partners and our family and friends. That is truth. My daughter can write, Happy Valentine's Day, Mom. And I also write to my daughter, Happy Joyful Valentine's Day, my daughter. So to uh, people who are like married or engaged and also, they can like send the message of love affection to their partners uh -huh. so and for valentine's day if you are like it says here also that friendship and admiration it's like some people if you are like you have been admiring someone for a long time so valentine's day is the day for you to show your love to that person you that you have been like admiring that is why most of the time you see that when uh, men want to engage a woman they always like to keep it to on the 14th of February because why they have been like admiring this woman they love everything about her they want this woman to be their future wife you know to stay together to live together so they always like uh, always like uh, keep that day Valentine's Day for them to like you know engage the woman to be in their life so that is why it says uh, admiration is also among the Valentine's Day so beautiful people hope you learned something from this video if you do don't forget to give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to this channel and please do share this amazing video so that kids like my daughter, moms like me, parents out there, men, women out there, students out there, they can also know the purpose why we and our kids, we are celebrating Valentine's Day. So thanks for watching. See you and my daughter with good health and long life for my daughter and me in our next video by His Grace. Remain blessed, enjoy your day, and we will be waiting for your comments. I hope you got up to like 80 over 100 as we said, because I try to like, uh, like say it, repeat and repeat, repeat it, even like a, a word I like repeat it up to three, four times so that you can be able to understand this Valentine's story. So I hope you do understand this Valentine's story like up to 80% over 100 so we'll be waiting for your comments if you do enjoy and understand this valentine's story to 80 over 100 so please comment and say that you do understand it 80 over 100 or even above so thanks for watching see you and my daughter with good health and long life for my daughter and me this day and forever amen faithful god almighty who guys protect and blesses my daughter and me this day and forever more more than me and my daughter our expectation amen we continue to do the same for you and your kids and please do share this video and please do share and please do subscribe and please do Thumbs up for this video. See you and my daughter in our next video. A good and long life for my daughter and me. Amen. Enjoy your day. Remain blessed. Ta -ta.